The small town of Green Cove Springs in Clay County is preparing for a population explosion. It's that outer beltway project that's already under construction and will bring in more people and more traffic along with it. But as I found out, not everyone is looking forward to the growth. If you ask lifelong locals like Ronald Roberts, they will tell you Green Cove isn't the small town it used to be. Well, at one time, I could walk the streets of Green Cove Springs, and I knew nine out of every ten people that I met. Probably not anymore. Now I don't know one out of ten. The Outer Beltway project is one factor when the new highway is eventually built near Green Cove. It will bring thousands of new residents. Another construction project will also spark new growth. The Shands Bridge is being rebuilt taller so more shipping traffic can come through. It will be a boom for the Green Cove port. And across town, this wooded area in South Green Cove is the likely site of two new public schools in coming years. If you just look at the development that's occurred on 17, the Valancourts, uh, which is a construction company, has moved their corporate headquarters here. Um, visual FX, that's taken over the old Fred Davis Butte Pontiac um, lot. You heard from the former mayor there, now city council member, who says there is a lot of business going in inside the city limits, but the vast majority is happening right outside the town's border in the greater Green Cove Springs area. We'll probably see roughly 50,000 people move into Green Cove in the very short period of years. 50,000? 50, 50, that's that's unthinkable number. for this area. But it's not just this area, but in a big portion of it will be in this northeastern part of Clay County. Um, we're expecting probably a growth of 10 to 20,000 people around us in Green Cove. For Roberts, it just means more change. At one time, there was a mom and pop store on every street corner that was in, in the city. Now you can count them all on one hand in the entire county. As small town Clay County goes the way of places like Oakleaf and Argyle. This summer, we reported on the places where the Clay County School District was considering to build new schools. Board members told me at the time Green Cove Springs had the highest need, and there are currently three new schools planned for the area by 2030.